Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do in college football is to stand your ground by keeping the ball on the ground. Over the last decade or so, we've seen an offensive explosion, much of it centered around the passing game. Sort of refreshing to see a team believe that it can win at the highest level by running the football in an old school kind of way. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Hawaii Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They come out in a five wide set. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 30 yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And he hits him hard at the 38. Allen makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Finds his man. First down. And he's taken down at the 25. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Inside the 10. Touchdown, USC! through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? 
the defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Volunteers had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Louisville, they won their first game of the year. And for Gates, he had a touchdown catch. Louisville is victorious, 24-21. All right, Reese, back to our game. Thomas gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. Hawaii's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. The Trojans lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Hawaii is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down by the kicker. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I love to watch a quarterback and he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 44 yard line, it's first down. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. And he throws it away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Two yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They come out on an empty backfield. The 
10. Nice catch on that one. And down he goes at the seven-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Toss play. Look at the power. Runs outside for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Trojans. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 65-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 14-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run there. Riley comes away with five there on the option to the fullback. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. We played one quarter. USC leads it 14 7. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ready! 59 Philly! 59 Philly! Gains his way to the 46-yard line. And the fullback comes up with a nice run. This is just strength on strength right here. They give it to the fullback, and he powers his way for some good yardage and another first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Thought it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 44. Nice run up the middle. And this play is number eight on the drive. hit before it can go anywhere. First down. 
First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. This is the tenth play of this drive. and 10. Ball on the 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Run and he's brought down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Let's go. Tackle at the 18. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That brings up fourth and three. Kicks up, and it's Quincy uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Sooners come into today's game the fifth-ranked team in the country. The Sooners relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. And for Douglas, he barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 21-7, middle of the second quarter. We're at 14-10 in this one, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. Whitaker fields at the goal line. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. USC is up four. their own 36-yard line. Second down. Wide out makes the first down catch. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. the 46-yard line. First down. Going to go across the middle. Caught. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. First down. Inbounds to make a nice catch. Game of 13 on the play. First down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16. The 10, and that's his receiver who's wide open. They'll bring him down at the 1. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. USC holds a four-point lead. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, USC!
That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He makes the PAT. The Warriors saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires out to his wide And they push him out at the 27-yard line. A minute left in the half. And he's taken down at the 44. Great execution on that option play, and they get a big gainer on third down. They can rip holes in a defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defenders. He scrambled. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 21. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 21. He's on the run. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Scrambling around. Brought down at the seven. Goes to the fullback and dropped. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. It's the ninth play of the drive. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. USC is up by four. Going deep, lays it out there. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. We've played a half of football here. USC's up by four.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Sparks from the three at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at around the 50. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 49. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Makes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. He'll get the call again. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. And down he goes at the 14. We've got a first and 10. Ball of the 14. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 14-yard line. suspect to end up with the ball, but he looked really fluid on that run. Terrific play. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 48. First down. Gets out to around the 35. That's a gain of 13 on the way. That makes it first and 10. Hey, it's first and 10. Ball on the 35. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. hit and taken down. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Throws it away. He fights forwards about the thirteen. This play is number eight on the drive. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 15. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. USC is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. down at the 18-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle at about the 31. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. From their own 31-yard line, first down. After a decent pickup. Gaining four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Here's an opening. And he is drilled. The 
49 yard line. From their own 49 yard line. First down. And he gains around three on that keeper. So at the end of three, good game, 24-24. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Pitch out, got the corner. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Robinson comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Bring him down behind the line. Loss is one yard on the play. And that brings us fourth and three. Jackson is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. A little toss across the middle. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Mike five, Mike five. Two, seven, four. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Robinson's on the tackle at the 44-yard line. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. They'll bring him down around the 31 yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They run left and he'll lose yardage. This is the eighth play of this drive. Trying to 
set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. Successful offenses always get the ball into their playmakers' hands however they can. The screen play is certainly one of those ways to accomplish that. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Six-yard line. The Trojans are looking for some new players to step up this season, Irving. You know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. Tenth play of the drive. Just under two to go in the game. He's taken down the seven-yard line. Defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. They come out on an empty backfield. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Great shot by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's up, and they tack on three points. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. USC gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So, Kirk, here we go. Sullivan's got center stage. This is what we've been waiting for to watch him try to lead his team to the go-ahead score. And I can't think of a better situation for this offense. I mean, they've got a chance to control this game late in the ball game with one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football in charge. He needs to take a deep breath and just relax and go through his progressions. This defense better dig in. This is going to be one exciting finish for this game. Scramble. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. A little over a minute in the game. He's scrambling. He lost the ball. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman this guy. The Warriors will use their first time out of the half. Get off, get off. We got it. Ready. 395. Does it complete to the halfback over the middle? Hawaii will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's on the run, and he's leveled at the 37-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. Jack, Jack, Fox two, Fox two. Crash, crash. And he stops the clock with a spike. That brings us third and 12. be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game well the kicker is on here and if this goes we've got a tie ball game if not this one's in the books
It's up. Looks long enough. We're going to OT. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled. So we're going to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. to the back and he's taken down to the 17-yard line nice run there strong play by the defense but they'll come up just shy of the stop that makes it first and ten from the 13 yard line. First down. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. We're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review, you play. The ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 21. And they hit him in the backfield. five-yard line and the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime kicks away and it's through the uprights let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio the Sooners were ranked number five the W they hope will keep them there and for UTSA they've now come up short five straight times the Sooners took pleasure in opening up the can. Only a field goal separates these two here. East 30, 27. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go! Here they come. He throws. It falls incomplete. To sustain the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. made at the 15-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's in for the score, and this game's over.
That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, Hawaii 33, USC 30. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.